Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to grow zucchini, squash, cucumbers, melons in large containers. Now I've done plenty of videos on growing them in smaller containers and if you use a smaller container you have to feed them more, you have to water them more. But if you get into the size of these containers, 15 to 20 gallons, these are a little bit closer to 20 gallons, you can really grow your vegetables to size. The squash, the zucchini, the cucumbers won't really kind of compete with the size of the container. They're going to get fully mature. I want to show you how to set it up. It's going to vary a little bit depending on the products that you can find. But the basic setup is the same. So we're going to use shredded hardwood. I like the shredded hardwood right back there. And we're going to put that into the bottom of the container. We're also going to put a hole up maybe two or three inches in the side of the container because you want it to be able to drain. We're going to use a plain old topsoil that goes in there right on top of the wood chips. I'm going to show you all that. And I'm using leaf grow. This is mostly a leaf product. It's from my uh, local uh, county right next door to me. Uh, and it's only about four or five dollars a bag. I like it because it's a great organic product. If you have compost, certainly use that. But the leaf grow, the compost, or even a potting mix is going to be really where the cucumber, zucchini, squash, and melons grow. But let me show you the setup first of all. Like I said, 15 to 20 gallon containers, about two or three inches up, put a nice hole in the side so water drains out of there. The two or three inches below that is going to be your water reserve. So you come on over, fill the wood chips about an inch over the hole, and what you're going to put in here is about six to eight tablespoons of a fertilizer. Uh, organic fertilizer. Use organic in this case. You don't want the chemical fertilizers in here. And I know my hand is about two to three tablespoons. So six or eight tablespoons of an organic fertilizer. Try and stay around a five, five, five and just mix it in. And then again, the hole's right there. We're just going about an inch above the hole. And that fertilizer will be sitting down there for when the roots get there. But what would it, what it will do is it will help the wood chips sort of break down over time. Even next year, you can keep the wood chips in here and these wood chips will be in even better shape for your plants. So when the water fills up, it's gonna soak into the wood. That's gonna hold the water and it's gonna be a nice water reserve for your plants. And there'll be fertilizer waiting down there for it. Then we're going to take the topsoil. You could use garden soil if you want. Topsoil is only about two bucks a bag. It's not high quality or anything like that. And you're just going to put about an inch on top of the wood chips. And put maybe another two to four tablespoons of fertilizer right on there. Go ahead and mix it in. Don't worry about the quality of the topsoil. This could be garden soil if you want right from your garden. And this sets up the container. Now we're going to put in the leaf grow, um, whatever potting container mix I have left over, and I'll show you how to do that. So now we're going to finish up the container soil. We've already put in the organic fertilizer, and again, I always say try and stay around a 555 five, five NP and K. You just really don't need more. Because there is really no calcium in here, we're going to put in a handful of plain old garden lime. Just mix it in. And I've been working with a new product. And a lot of you have done this and many people have been telling me to use it. This is um, worm casting from uh, Vermis Terra. And I'm getting really, really good results. I'm doing a lot of experiments with this product and with worm tea. But I'm gonna use this as part of my experimental process as I'm learning about a new product. I'm gonna put in, this is a half a cup. A half a cup of the worm castings right into the, actually, one cup into the topsoil and these castings are directly from worms. It's the perfect form of N, P, and K. There's growth hormones in there. There's all kinds of good microbes and I just want to add that to my soil. So this sets the bottom up with the worm castings, with the lime, and I'm only putting the worm castings in here again because I'm running an experiment. As I want to see how new products really affect my plants. So we're going to put in some container mix from my old containers, from the old plants. Just mix that into the top with the topsoil, just like that. Now we're gonna add in the leaf grow. If you don't have leaf grow or organic matter, you can use your own compost, you can use other products. You don't have to follow the exact mix here, just follow it in principle. Use what you have available. But basically we're putting in a lot of organic matter 
which will hold water and it's great for the root system. We fed it. So I put one cup of the worm castings down in the bottom and I'm going to put another cup up here. I'm using about a cup per five gallons in my five gallon containers as an experiment. And that's all I'm going to put in there. Mix that in. And I'm basically directly adding mother nature to my containers and it's what plants have grown on for millions of years. Some more of my old container mix. Let's mix it up. And again, I just want you to follow this in principle, but this is a great setup. For cucumbers, zucchinis, melons, squash, they're going to thrive in here. And the shredded hardwood and the basic topsoil down in the bottom is just really to create a nice reserve of water and moisture for the plants to grow. And you want to leave, you know, a good two inches here because we're going to put wood mulch down to help conserve water also. But this is the basic setup, so let's get to planting. So it's set up, this is a Cocazelle zucchini. I'm going to remove one plant. You only want one squash or zucchini in here. If you're growing a bush cucumber, a bush melon, you could put in two plants. If you're starting them in cups like I do, gently loosen up the root system and you're going to just plant to right here. Just drop it in. Work the soil around it. Press it in nicely. That will get it set up. I've labeled this as the uh, Cocazelle and I'm also doing the worm casting and worm tea experiment in here just to see how it goes. Get your hardwood. I like the shredded hardwood. It absorbs more water. That's why I like using it in the bottom of the container. And I like on the top here because it locks together. Not so much for a container, but when I use it in my raised beds, when it rains, this doesn't really wash away because it's so fibrous and so shredded, it kind of locks together. So we're going to put about an inch worth of the hardwood around here. That will keep moisture in. And the whole key for zucchini, squash, cucumbers, melons is to keep moisture in the container and keep them fed. This plant is going to get huge and the 15 to 20 gallon container is perfect for that. So once you have it all mulched in, go ahead and water it in. This one again, this is worm tea that this is getting. And really soak it in, whoa. In the other containers, I'm gonna do one all organic. I'm gonna use fish emulsion. In the other one, I'm actually gonna use a chemical fertilizer and just see if we notice a difference. So soak this all in. I'll get the other containers set up and uh, we'll get to the conclusion. So here are the containers planted. We've got the uh, Cocazelle and the worm casting and tea for an experiment. We're going to do the scalp scalloped bush with fish emulsion, water soluble fertilizer. And we're going to do the round zucchini in a quarter strength of the chemical fertilizer. Chemical fertilizers won't harm you or your plant, but if you're going to use them, use them at like a quarter of a strength because it's just too much nitrogen in those products. Now, the water soluble is something that your plants can use immediately. You can do that organically, you can do that with chemical fertilizers. That's what these plants are going to get fed. The fertilizer that we put in there in the granular form needs to break down with soil biology and that will slowly release over time. I just want to review what we did because it's really important. And again, just think of it in principles. In the bottom, we put in shredded hardwood that's going to absorb water hold water and it'll be a reservoir for the plant. We put a drainage hole up about two inches on the side. You could go up to three inches. That's to let out excess water. You don't want your plants sitting in water. That will damage the roots. We added organic fertilizer down in the bottom too because when you bury wood chips, when they break down, they compete with nitrogen for your plant. So we've added extra nitrogen to help break down the wood chips and also help it from competing with nitrogen in there. Then we put in some plain old topsoil. You could use garden soil from your garden. And then we put in a potting mix or we used um, compost or we used the leaf mix that I use. But as you work your way up, you just want a better quality material.
On the top we put in about an inch of the shredded hardwood. I like the shredded hardwood. It's already breaking down for you. It holds a lot of water, more than the wood chips I think, and I think it just looks a little bit nicer. So this has set up the plants. They've been watered in with their water soluble fertilizers and I will do videos on just showing you how these are doing over time, how we're going to deal with um, feeding them as they grow. Oh, and I just wanted to add one more thing. We put lime in there too, which supplies calcium because zucchinis and squash can get blossom end rot like your tomatoes. And it, sometimes it's an issue of watering. Most of the time it's an issue of watering, but we did want to add the calcium in here just so that we know it was in our plants. So anyway, I'll show you these plants over time, show you how they grow and how I take care of them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my garden shop at www.therestedgarden.com. Thanks.